basically that's all the stock I have I know my workshop is a bit messy but never mind we'll just mess it up a bit more by cutting this so once we all finish we can clean it up a bit more so I'm gonna take the jigsaw I've drawn a rough profile on there and I'm just gonna cut this out now Right, so I've got the center scribed over there um, out of my stock. My stock is 30 mil, so basically 15 mil down the center. And I've got to now get that profile onto there. So once I've got the profile, then I can square it off at the bottom to where I need it to be squared off at. I think the whole idea is to take it bit at a time, because if you take too much off, then you can't put back on. At this point, I'm gonna go to sandpaper now because I don't want to take too much off. Right, so I think basically now I'm gonna start squaring it off and then we can take it from there. It's amazing now how much rasp can actually take off. Um, not been doing that for long at all. So just to get the initial shape of it, and it's come off quite quite a lot, quite nice. When you make something like this you always in the back of your mind you tend to think well it's not factory factory made or anything like that and you want to make it as close as possible to a factory made one but you know what no that's precisely the whole idea it's not factory made it's not perfect it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be made by me and that's what you need to think about when you make stuff like this. 
So don't worry about what people will think about it because it's your unique piece and that's how you should see it. So there you go, we had that stage. So we rasped the handle up to more or less uh, the pattern I want. There's a few changes still to make on it. Um, we've not fixed that exit in yet. So that's a piece of oak, stock oak that I had left over. And um, it's pretty straight, I must say. I'm surprised because I normally get these things wrong. So I said I wanted to keep the handle run about 35 350 millimeter from the front to the back and mm, I missed that actually by five mil because I've got 345 mil but I'm happy with that. that that's fine so I think that's that's pretty nice size for that X um, I would have liked to make the, the the curve of that X a bit more of the handle a bit more of a curve but I didn't have stock wide enough for that so you know, I'm one of these people, waste not what not, and um, use what you've got. So handle is done, it's all sanded down. So all it needs now is um, a good lacquer. I was going to oil it and then be wax it, but I've decided against that. I'm actually going to lacquer the handle. Um, still not sure about the head, if I should keep it black or I'll say dark gray, or should I polish it up? I'm not sure about that one, but I think that's a later decision that I'm going to make. For now, I'm going to call it pretty much done. I'm going to lacquer the handle next and sharpen the edge. And that's about it for me. And then afterwards, I'll get myself a sheath made. Guys, doing projects like this, it takes a lot of time. And um, is it worth it? I'm, I'm not sure. If financially it's worth it because basically you can buy an axe cheaper than than this I mean you can buy a fairly decent axe for about 45 50 quid but um, when you make an axe it's something that is yours the the shape of it is 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 for you and the satisfaction you're getting out of it is amazing and not only that, but the learning process. You learn so much from doing things yourself that, you know, that knowledge you take with you for the rest of your life. So for me, it is worth it. Um, for me to make something, to make tools that I'm going to use, it gives me a satisfaction that buying a tool does not give me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learn something from it and a lot of you which already make knives and, and, and axes and, and tools and so on might be thinking well you know um, I already know what you what you're showing there's one thing that we all can take out of this and that's self-belief belief in yourself that you can make something you can achieve something and you will do it's not just about making an axe or making a knife or making a tool. It's about believing in yourself. It's about the experience. It's about knowing that you can achieve something if you put your mind to it. And that's the most important thing that you'll get out of doing anything with your hands. So I encourage you to make something. It doesn't matter how it turns out. You know, as long as you put the effort in 
it's something that you've created and no one can take that away from you so thank you very very much for watching the video if you like what you see there's a notification button down below the little bell click that please and subscribe like and please leave comments I love your comments I strive on your comments it makes me want to do more videos every time people comment and especially when I get positive comments and criticism is good as well so you know if you got a, a, a constructive criticism to put down put it down and um, we'll take it from there but thank you very very much and also I would like to say thank you to everyone for subscribing we've just hit 200 mark um, I think we over 200 subscribers and I really really do appreciate and value every single subscriber that that has subscribed to my channel Here she is. Finally done. I will sharpen the edge a bit more. But finally done, all lacquered, set, and there you go. The handle from tip to back is 345 mil. I, did, I wanted to originally to make it 350 mil, but 5 mil here and there is no big deal. I was contemplating on putting a hole on, on the handle, but I'm not going to. I want to keep it just like that. It feels absolutely great. Yeah. You will see that even though I've been chopping oak and all sorts, it's still got a very nice edge to it. So I'm happy with that. Absolutely chuffed. So thank you very much for watching. So if you're not watching any of the episodes, you can watch them down below. This is episode one, two and three. One, where we actually shaped the axe head itself. Two, where we finished the access off and polished it and three which is this one where we made the handle and fitted it thank you very much people